I forgot I got some new music. Hmm, it's okay. Is this one again? Eh. I was kind of liking, I think, Scar or Gumbo the most. Yeah. Sorry if anyone said anything, I forgot to open my tablet to look at the stream chat. <laughs> Whoops. <clears throat> okay, good, no bears moved away. Yeah, me too. Sad Pinky. What's up, Six Shadows 4? And yes, of course, back to Animal Crossing. Even if I'm streaming them not as much because I'm afraid that I might get boring because I'm just fishing every day, I'm going to at least check them a couple times a week. I can't abandon my mams. <laughs> well, that might be a different story when um, New Horizons comes out. Sorry to say. <laughs> at least I'm being honest. change my outfit. It's been like two weeks, I think. Ooh, pink roses. I didn't do that on purpose. Because I think they're pink. They're very lightly pink. Hey, spooky smile bee. Yeah, we hope so. Also, hello, what's up, Disney Addict? Uh, four? Yeah, we want the new Animal Crossing! So yes, I have to 
make do with this and make sure I check on them. Oh, thanks for the follow, OHT4? Uh, sorry, I, I've I probably messed that up. Yeah, so I have two Animal Crossings, this one and the original one. Um, and I started Magician's Quest Mysterious Times, which is kind of like Animal Crossing, but it has its own differences, like, you know, magic. And right now, previously I started Mystery Time, but I got confused thinking a mystery happened right away, but might happen tomorrow. So we'll find out what the mystery is tomorrow. Most excited about in a new one? Ugh, oh, that's hard. I might have to say pole vaulting over the river. <laughs> that was really cool. I'm probably gonna use the pole vault until it breaks. Even with like the Nintendo Store reveal, they acted like they were watching a sports thing and, and they are kinda talking amongst themselves, and once that happened, they're like, oh! <laughs> but yeah, right now my so-called town is gonna look like crap. <laughs> I'm not very good at organizing where I want things, so it's gonna be a big jumbled mess. But at least it would be a very pretty and cute jumbled, uh, jumbled mess. Jumbled. <laughs> I kinda hope you can still swim, though. It kinda feels weird if they were, take if they were to take away swimming since you're in an island setting. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm trying not to spoil myself, but at the same time, I'm still watching for news for stuff I really want to know. Like, it has been confirmed that K.K. Slider will still be doing his concerts every Saturday. <clears throat> and, um... The other thing was that Amiibos and Amiibo cards will be compatible. They didn't say how so, though. Um... On, the, on City Folk, I don't really think there's much town decking I can do other than, like, lay down, like, some paths or something. Unless you mean when I get New Horizons. I can't play, uh, Queen of the Pine Tree Jungle, because for some reason pine trees always die on me. Uh, no, um, New Leaf was the only one you could do that kind of stuff. So New Leaf really was turning over a New Leaf in the franchise, because that was the most customization from any Animal Crossing game to date. But yeah, unfortunately this one doesn't have that kind of thing. It does have a cute little city you can go to, but yeah, it's definitely nothing like New Leaf. I did attempt to stream New Leaf for the heck of it, but it kind of struggled, so probably won't be able to for a while until I can figure out how to smooth it out. <clears throat> but yeah, this one came out for the Wii in like 2009 or something. Hello, Nota Pleb IU. What's up? Here, Bloom. Where is it? Is it coming in or is it? Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, jeez, I just missed it. Ah! If you ever save up to get like a Wii, I will just recommend like the Wii U because it's backwards compatible and you can get a couple extra games, you know, made for the Wii U.
I am all right, just chilling to some Animal Crossing. Thank you for joining another Animal Crossing stream. Ooh, a star man, I think I have that already. Yes, the Wii U is its own console. Oh, thank you for the follow, uh, Python Mojoy. Yeah, we all know why we're here. We have to try our best to contain our patience for New Horizons coming out. I kind of want to be like, I hope it'll get here faster, but then if time did go faster, I'm like, wait, I don't know where the rest of the year went. Help. <laughs> I could have been working on my backlog in that time. No, no time travel. I've been watching like the E3 direct reveal every single day multiple times to get my fix. <laughs> Hello Uncanny House Sayoner. <clears throat> Welcome, supposedly, fellow Animal Crossing fan. Unfortunately, I don't have time travel techno- Ooh. I don't have time travel technology to make New Horizons come faster. Could be. I didn't know Monday was Animal Crossing Day for everybody. But hey, I get to meet new people that also like the game, so yeah. Yeah, boy. Or girls, either way. <laughs> Sayings and stuff. I think my inventory's full, so I can't. Yeah, it's about full. <laughs> yes, just what we Animal Crossing fans need, coffee to make us even more jittery in anticipation. <laughs> you arrange your house. New lampy furniture? Does that mean she wants a lamp? Because I don't know what else that could mean. Someone spammed it on Twitter? I think it only tells, for me it does it just saying when I go live, but... Hmm. But yeah, just in case things don't go too well, um... Before today, I've been having a whole bunch of internet problems and I'll disconnect at certain times and my video would split. But today, so far, it hasn't done it. I want to be very hopeful and say it won't. But in case it does, it will usually bring me back after, like, 30 seconds. I really hope it's done doing that, though. Replace the modem and router and everything. Oh, jeez.
Yeah, you got me a clean cub. <laughs> Evil Titan. Thank you for the follow, uh, Sir Rexdium. Oh wait, I was just at the museum and I forgot to do my fossils. Duh. Oops. I hate doing the pointer though. No, I don't want that. Oh, God, for crying out loud. <laughs> eh. There. He's still flowering. Oh no, Magician's Quest, I was playing the one that did um, get localized, it was just the one for the DS. Magician's Quest Mysterious Times. But yeah, it's not like the ones that never made it, unfortunately. I want to look at certain ways to somehow learn Japanese so I can look at the other ones that we didn't get. <laughs> Asking if I'm a weeb. <laughs> Yeah, I am. I just don't know Japanese. Because <laughs> I love JRPGs and that stuff. I get told that I sound young, but I don't really know if I hear it like other people do. Yes, Blathers, you can have it. I think I need to do it the other way to make them not talk as much, even though I do like to hear them ramble. And thank you for the follow, uh, Hobo Jelly Bean K6. <laughs> But yes, for those of you that did New Leaf, Blathers used to talk a lot more. Although it's a lot funnier when he talks about bugs, but I don't think I have any new bugs today. <laughs> Hobo Jelly Bean. I have you now, Fossil. Aha! Trilobite. Lurk into the mams. Chill time. <laughs> I guess I saw a couple over here that I didn't talk to yet. I think Gladys was over here, unless she moved. I don't think I talked to him yet. Oh, there's Gladys. Oh, well, I guess I'm eavesdropping instead. 
It's just your eye. Oh, poor Glass. Now she's sad. I can't talk to her now. Well, I could, but I don't want to make her more sad. I sell stuff. I think I'm actually paying off the last loan on this one, too. I only got the basement to pay off. Oh, Francine's over there. Oops. Forgot you can't kick them closed. So for anyone that saw um, the New Horizons reveal, are there certain things that you guys are excited about in particular? Yes, yeah, it's a very chill place on a rainy day, but I usually get kind of tired chill. Oh, a bit worried? Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, Silent Smiles. Yeah, they said that they're gonna put input an autosave feature, so you can't time travel. And Rossetti will actually have a new job because that was his job previously about resetting. I'm mostly concerned about no time traveling just because what if people just can't play when they want to when something's going on and they miss it and they just want to time travel like one day or a couple hours so they don't gotta wait a long time for the event to happen again, but we'll have to see. Yeah, I hope Lathers is still in it. They, there's no news about any kind of museum, but since you're on a deserted island, I imagine if you want one, you'd probably have to build one. If that would be the case. I imagine Gulliver will be, because he's been in, like, every single one. And he could wash up on a deserted island, but... Yeah, I want them to- it would be nice if they brought back all the neighbors and even ones that they took out from previous ones. And of course had new types of animals and stuff. I've probably said this a million times, but I wish they could make bat villagers. I think that would be really cute. And they have confirmed that there'll be no new personalities, but that doesn't mean like no new animals. And I can imagine it too, because they already have bird villagers, they just gotta make, like, the quote, arms a tad bit differently. So they look more like bat wings. But it's totally doable. 
And even if they added, like, more skunks, like kicks, that would be cute. That's just a regular green one. Can't tell. Yeah, just the darner one. Hmm, maybe. I never really got to play that myself because I forgot to look up the ways to do it. I watched people play, though. Well, I can't say for sure what I think they're gonna do, of course, but I mean, I'm hoping it's just if you want a higher rate to catch special fish and you don't need it every time. Because, like, what if you just happen to not find any more bait for the day? You just have to stop fishing, I guess. You can't wait to owe Tom Nook money again. <laughs> Wonderful debt in the life it brings. And something different that's actually... Well, at least I think it is, because I'm not sure, but it seems like you'll be able to buy the flimsy tools from Nook in his little tent slash shop slash crafting area thing um so you don't always have to craft your tools you can just buy it buy it from him outright and that also means it'll be the first time for animal crossing for you to have access to all those tools at the start because usually you know the shop is small so you have to wait for like the fishing rod one day and then the shovel next day and then the net and the slingshot so in a way that's kind of different compared to past animal crossings Oh, at the very end of the reveal trailer, he says, Oh, after um, your accommodations, uh, flight fee, taxes, uh, and the, what is something, accountant numbers, 49,000 bells. Oh, yeah, your Nook phone charges you for that, too. I'm curious about the Nook Miles thing. It sounds similar to... The meow coupons, but I'm wondering what else you can get out of it. Because with meow coupons, you get to trade them for the camper furniture and from the dog there. I forget his name, I don't talk to him too much. Um, but yeah, they said you can redeem it for special things or activities, so I don't know what they mean by that. The multiplayer, if anything, is kind of neat because for once, if you're, you know, local multiplayer, playing with your family or friends, um, and they live in town, you just, you know, take the Joy-Cons off, and then you each share or use a Joy-Con for it, I think. I'm not sure how controlling it would be comfortable, though, but I'll have to see. But then you can play it in real time instead of just visiting each other's island slash town. Cecil the Duck knows exactly how it works. He, they might be working for Nook. Because of course the Nook phone uses only Nook service. Tanuki Wireless. Okay. Hmm. Master Baven, and yes, chilling to some Animal Crossing and talking about New Horizons and our thoughts so far. Oh crud, now I gotta swap out for the garbage. Yeah. Oh, I didn't plant a flower bag. Uh, it goes here then. I 
I am currently off stream also playing uh, Wild World and I started a new digital town in New Leaf again. <laughs> I think it was just yesterday too. I'm gonna be drowning in Animal Crossing. Sure, I have the Starman already. I should have checked. Thanks for the follow, the Angels. Hello, <laughs> Sorry if I botched that. Yeah, we're crossing Breath of the Wild. <laughs> yeah, me too. I have these two towns here. The original one and the city folk. I got Wild World on my DS. Got two New Leaf towns. Yeah, I got quite a lot of towns. I can't play them every day. Excuse me, robot, you're blocking my house. I guess you just have to give one Animal Crossing a break a little bit and like alter them out or swap them out. I don't know. Oh, I don't have a star man. Okay. Suddenly, a whole bunch of mayors will go missing! Oh, I think I'll eat my shovel right now. But bells are real money! <laughs> Got one to visit the Able Sisters and see what they got. I've been pretty much making random outfits if I like an accessory and a shirt there. Huh. Since there's not gonna be like a clothing or a shoe store, does that mean you just craft the clothes and shoes? And also, if that's the case, will the Able Sisters not be there? And also, what about Kix? He hasn't been in the game that long, but I like him. Kix is cute. Yeah, there's still rumors about the Switch Mini, and there's, like, also rumors of... Like, a whole bunch of orders for, like, internal memory things being in high demand. And also some Korean or something company is making accessories for a so-called Switch Mini. But... Yeah, at least the crafting will be instant and not, like, waiting 16 hours like in Pocket Camp. At least I think so. A random outfit. Thanks for following. I'm Wolf Rag C Zero. Interesting names today. And since 
with furniture you can just pick it up and move it that's good too because then I always wanted to like switch up my town in New Leaf my very first town that's like six years old <laughs> I've been mayor for six years hooray <laughs> um I've always wanted to like swap out some bridges and stuff but you have to let it like demolish for like a whole day before you can do it again but with this one I supposedly you just pick it up but I'm not sure if that'll be the case for bridges but with the pole vault that might not matter Your old time crafting would suck. Pocket cam gets pretty bad with that sometimes, taking really long. <laughs> and then we're still in shorty pants. <laughs> I mean, I haven't been playing every single day for the six years because I did like not play for I think a year straight and then I would check in every few months, but now I'm trying to check it at least a couple times a week because I make sure certain animals don't move away because they're my favorite, so I'm like, oh crap, I should check on them and make sure they didn't move. I would be so sad if they did. Yeah, that would suck. I hope they don't take anything from like pocket camp and put in leaf tickets or anything like that. I don't think they would put microtransactions or DLC because even if it's just like PR niceness or something get people on their side, they're saying they want to delay it because it would be a huge disservice to rush an Animal Crossing game and release it unfinished. So hopefully that also means they know better not to put microtransactions in it just because they can. Yeah, it makes you wonder like that. Advancements in technology are pretty odd. Thanks for following Luki771. <laughs> Alrighty, enjoy lurking and thanks for dropping by Raylin. Yeah, the 3DS Animal Crossing is really good looking. That's why it's like, I'm glad I was a fan for every single iteration. Because it really lets me see how much it's improved over the years. And I I was really actually surprised with how pretty they could make New Horizons look. I'm not saying this in like a mean way. But you know, Animal Crossing has always used this simple um, art style. And somehow they made that simple art style just look super pretty. Yes, kicks humble beginnings as a shoe shiner in the city. Might as well spend money. And there's also super cute things um, I've noticed in the trailer that aren't that big a deal, but I love it. Like, Fuchsia in the reveal trailer is wearing an actual dress, not just like a tank top. And I saw Hamfrey, or Hamilton, whatever his name is, the orange hamster. He's wearing a t-shirt and has sleeves, so not every shirt will automatically become a tank top that they wear. And their eyes will move around when they look, and they're doing things, so it's really cute. Oh, it's Bear on the Switch? That's neat. Um, I did see an article saying that no one's really been too disappointed with the Crash 
uh, game so far. Yes, and Isabel will be there too. Not sure what, but maybe she'll finally be able to take a vacation. Yeah, The Witcher was terrible. I would. <laughs> they shouldn't have poured it at all. That's just too much of a stretch. I know the Switch is technically a port machine mostly right now, but they shouldn't do everything. And like, didn't uh, Ark Survival Evolve look pretty awful too? And I think they re they did another one called Pix Ark, so it's like cube or blocky looking, so they don't have to make it look that much worse. Wow, it's that bad? I really should look at it. So just a neutral. I'm really gonna have to look it up then. Cause I did see I did see the difference with like um the Witcher one, but I never actually looked at Ark, I just took Titan's word for it when he first told me. Yeah, they are overpriced ports. That is one thing though, I wish that if they're gonna port an older game to the Switch, I wish it would have come with a price drop already. Like it would be $20 or 30 instead of like 60. <laughs> Cause that's just dumb. I wanted to buy Diablo 3 on the Switch because it had like some Zelda content in it, like for items or costumes or whatever, but it was like $60 and the one for PlayStation 4 was like 20. So I was like, yeah, no. Dang, that's pretty bad then. <laughs> yes, that's definitely not a good image. <laughs> I gotta get ripped off on this painting. off. Yay, it's real! Sweet! I think I have like a whopping three paintings. <laughs> hmm. The new Aladdin movie's out already? Dang, I didn't know that. That's a shame. <laughs> Three. 
You must change them out every two weeks then, because I've tried checking every week and it doesn't change. I mean, I still kind of want to see it. Oh, four. Never mind. Four big names. I still kind of want to see it, but yeah, I'm probably going to rent it on Redbox or something if it comes to that. Same thing with probably the Lion King remake. Thanks, I like making random outfits from the Able Sisters. I'm a pirate cat sombrero person. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that was awful. So at least with the new Aladdin trailer, it looked like it could be fun, just, you know, not comparing it to the original. But Pete's Dragon, when we both watched it, uh, Titan and I, we couldn't even enjoy it as a movie itself. Even though we tried not to compare it to uh, the original, it was just bad. Oh no! <laughs> Disney Addict, how could you? <laughs> Why? <laughs> the original Peace Dragon was like cute and fun loving and kind of goofy with the old PD. And uh, the new one mostly reminded me of like the Jungle Book remake and stuff. <laughs> I mean, to each their own, but yeah, I prefer the original Peace Dragon. I mean, I was- I don't think I was alive when it first came out, but, um, my mom would find random movies in the store, and if they sounded cute, she would buy them. Found a whole bunch of good ones that way. Like, My Neighbor Totoro was a random purchase. When stuff used to be on v VHS! What's that? I'm old. <laughs> Not a plug, then you don't like it. Yeah, not trying to be pushy or anything, but if Disney Addict, if you do get the chance, maybe give the old Peach Dragon a try. If you do like it more, that's fine. And if you don't, that's also fine. We don't want to be too pushy with our opinions. VHS? Is that the thing that used to turn you back in time? No, those were cassette players where you had to rewind it with a pencil. What are cassette tapes? Ah! dies from old age. And also, like, if anyone has seen My Neighbor Totoro, if you're watching the Disney version, it's not the original original, because the voice actors and actresses are new and different. In the original one from, like, Fox or something, the voices were a lot better and more emotional. Um, they match the lip sync better, and, um, what else? The laughing scene was a lot better. It makes you want to laugh along with it. And also, the one of the little girls on there was, like, the voice actress who does Angelica on Rugrats. So, maybe double nostalgia points there. Yeah, you took all the VHSs to save for there. <laughs> Thank you for taking them off my hands to make room, but now I feel bad because now I'm cluttering up your spot. Oh, now I can talk to her. She's not depressed. About other movies, I guess, if we want to be on the talk bleh, topic about movies. Yeah, on the VHS rescue, I adopted them. Yep. <laughs> I 
And I'm not even sure if you got all of them. I think uh, I think I still decided to keep like the Winnie the Pooh VHS ones just because that's cluttering up my room, but at the same time I can't bring myself to get rid of them because they were all given to me, I think, by my grandparents and they both passed away. And like I kind of feel a little bit lame with like some TV show type things, just on a tangent now I guess, but I used to watch Blue's Clues when I was little, and I've been seeing stuff on Facebook pop up about like the new version they're making, and I'm actually like, dang, that's actually pretty good looking. I would watch it just to compare. I'm like, wait, this is a kid's show. What? what? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think I, now I'm thinking about all these other random, that's a big bug. All these random movies, and I think I don't—I don't think I saw Rick at Ralph breaks the internet yet. I see that. Yeah, my grandma actually just died this year. Oh, my grandfather's been dead for a few years. But yeah, there's something I just. I don't think I can get rid of them, even if they don't work anymore. There's just something nostalgic and charming thinking about Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> By the way, Christopher Robin did a pretty good job of doing, like, a homage to Winnie the Pooh. I hear another balloon. <laughs> no Steve, no watch. <laughs> I think now it's an Asian guy playing Steve. They're still trying to give him the green striped shirt, I believe. But yeah, they kind of did a different kind of uh, design for Blue and Company, and they look really good. Blue kind of looks 3D yet 2D, and it looks really nice. Somehow she looks cuter too that way. Not really sure how. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I was just gonna get rid of them or see if a Disney collector would take them, so now I feel bad just for s scratching out the markers and taking out the stickers that said from Grandma and Grandpa. I feel like, s I feel awful. I try not to think about it, because then I'll, I might start crying. No crying on stream. <laughs> Telescope. Oh, I forgot to get rid of the invite card. I make bad decisions. Anyway. <laughs> oh, isn't Toy Story 4 out already too? Like it just came out like the other day or something. Gotta see that and see how Pixar wrecks my emotions. get really hard sometimes because as you get older you're like I have too much stuff and a lot of stuff is just for sentimental value you're like well should I get rid of it because I really need room here this is just taking up room in my closet and then it's like you can't or then you start to and then you kind of regret it and stuff Ugh. oh the feels yay attire of course that makes you cry why am I not surprised <laughs> Kind of like the opposite of Up Then, a whole bunch of people were crying at the very start of that movie, including me. Up is such a hard movie to rewatch and start because the very start is depressing. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for holding on to them for me, Titan. I 
think I even remember like when I watched the Tigger movie and I had like a stuffed Tigger in my room when I was little. Oh god, it just feels so old right now. And now I'm just reminiscing about youth. Ooh, TV with VCR! That's funny. I think I actually put one in my house already though. Funny how that timing though. TV with VCR. Um, I've only been playing this game for a few months, so um, I'm not too far with it. But this is like my last deck, so I'm almost finished with that. And then I just gotta grind a whole bunch of money to buy all of Gracie's stuff and everything in the stores and whatnot. Um, for the hour, it's just because he's making sure I keep track of time to see if my video split, because before I managed to finally swap out my modem and router this weekend, I was getting cut off on my stream every 59 minutes, like, on the dot. So now he's just letting me know to keep track of it. In case there is still a problem, then it's the internet service provider and not on my end exactly. Thank you for the follow, Rensen... CSBZ? Yeah, Titan, you explain a lot quicker than I do. <laughs> Look, a VHS tape and an old chunky TV! VCR tape, ah! Uh... Oh, my basement is empty. Can you actually, like, change the wallpaper with this? Unlike the first one? I'm not used to talking so much, so I feel like my voice is, like, dying on me. I still have a decent amount of bugs, but yeah, I still got quite a lot I gotta get. I'm not sure if I'll be able to 100% the bugs and fish, because a lot of the times I'm not able to play at night, so I miss out a lot on those. So far with the first game I streamed, Magician's Quest, I went for like two hours and almost half an hour, two hours and a half and nothing. So we'll see with this one or if maybe two streams is like too much for a day. But yeah, I'm hoping not because I have like so many Animal Crossing like games to check now every day. <laughs> or at least like every other day because there are some other non-Animal Crossing type games I want to play in stream. Like, I gotta get back to Penny Punching Princess and Spyro. I get back to my boy Spyro, the dragon. What kind of music? <laughs> um, I haven't listened to like any recent music other than like the two Imagine Dragons songs Titan showed me. Other than that, I probably still listen to like my emo middle school. Pop rock from <laughs> from when I yeah. Apparently, a lot of pop rock, kind of emo sounding songs, surprisingly. But I like indie music too, and some hip hop and rap. It just depends what the context is. And I like a bunch of oldie songs. 
And I actually like classical music too. Like I don't listen to it too much, but I'll listen to it when I want to relax or try to sleep. The only kind of music I don't really like is when they like grunt and scream on the top of their lungs. That kind of gives me a headache. But other than that, I don't mind like hard rock either. Like Disturbed or Skillet or whatever. Yes, yeah, Spyro Ignite Trilogy. I only streamed it like two or three times so far though, so I'm pretty behind. So much Animal Crossing stuff taking up my time. I gotta schedule better. Yeah, we have country music too, but I haven't listened to any new country. It's just stuff I used to listen to. You know, I'm just used to listening to it. So yeah, I'm very behind with like any current music trends. Like when I was waiting in the Spectrum building and they were playing new music and I'm like, what the crap is this? <laughs> I remember when Taylor Swift did country, now she's doing this. Because, you know, they played a Taylor Swift song and I lost the fish. Um, if heavy metal only does that screaming and grunting, then no. Because I really don't like screaming in general. Um, but if it's just like really fast, hardcore rock, I don't mind that. I would do a band to like do an example, but I can't think of them. And it's like, I don't listen to music all that often, really, but once in a while, after not listening to music for a long time, I just get on a kick of it, and then I'll do it for, like, days straight. I would probably have more variety of music, but Pandora stopped giving me new music a long time ago. Taking my horse to the old town road. Yeah, his scared horse emote is because he has, quote, accidentally killed a bunch of his horses during Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> there are no quotes. Uh-huh. <laughs> ah, they ask for greetings too much. Oops. <laughs> yeah, they, they were actually accidents. I was just being silly. For some reason, his horses liked to commit suicide. <laughs> and then blame him for it. So yeah, he made a horse emote in their honor. <laughs> oh, so far I went past the hour and I think I'm still up. Hooray. Poor Titan. It's going better in Red Dead 2 though, right? The horses weren't so suicidal. <laughs> I 
I wonder if Titan, you went back to New Leaf and you got any horse villagers if they would hear of your reputa reputation. <laughs> oh no. Kill a horse mackerel? Yeah, that would be his punishment. Just anytime he went fishing, just catch all horse mackerels. That's pretty bad. Oh my god, that was Red Dead Redemption 2! I was so sorry. I got them a bit mixed up. Because I forgot you actually started Red Dead 2 first. You really should check up on your town again, Titan. Your animals miss you. <laughs> God, I'm gonna annoy, annoy him so much. <laughs> if you're talking about Tucker, it wasn't a horse, that's an elephant slash woolly mammoth. <laughs> begin. Oops. Oh, okay. I didn't know the horse one moves too. I thought only Tucker did. Yeah, I remember the racehorse now. Oh, you had two horses? I don't remember. Dang. Aw. Sugar cube. You might get new um, horse villagers if you go back and check. You can also recruit villagers from the campsite if you made that. Yeah, I didn't see anything, so if I'm sorry if I missed it. something that reminds me though like someone made a point when I was looking at comments for some of the Animal Crossing New Horizon stuff and they're saying like oh my god the squid looks so detailed I'm actually terrified about the scorpions and tarantulas and I'm like oh god I might drop my switch if I was using it in portable mode <laughs> they already freak me the crap out on this one and on Wild World and New Leaf don't like tarantulas or scorpions Oh, you actually did check the other day? Yeah, not- someone doesn't always camp out there, but if you find an interesting animal, you can recruit them to come by playing a game with them. That's how I got Julian once, the only unicorn in the game. And recently I convinced a, a bird called Keaton to move into my original town. He's a very co uh, colorful eagle. Oh my god! No! <laughs> That is against nature craft. <laughs> Even if it's in the water, I'm gonna use a flamethrower on it. 
has to come up for air sometime. <laughs> I am pretty much like Blathers. I don't like any bugs, not even the pretty ones. I'll observe them from afar, but if they get close to me, I run for them just like any other thing. Oh my god, that's disgusting! Ugh. The worst thing I ever saw was, uh... There was like a novelty shop that had full spiders and scorpions and a lollipop. You could see it. Oh, I'm itchy. <laughs> Dang it. And, uh, I actually saw on one Food Channel thing that someone's making cricket flour chocolate chip cookies. So they're baking and drying out a bunch of crickets, grinding them into flour for protein, and making cookies out of it. At least you don't see them, but still, pretty nasty. Hmm, so the quick spinning circles could either be me or Twitch that struggle a little bit. Maybe I need to take a longer break in between double streams? Or maybe reset the Mormon router? Yeah, I can't get past the mental mind game then. Nope. Gah. <laughs> I think there was... I just shared a thing on social media somewhere that there was like an undead based restaurant in Japan or something and they would give you like skewers of bugs to eat. And the two people were like gagging all the way. Alright, thanks for dropping by, Disney Addict. It was cool to have you around. Maybe to see you again sometime. I don't mind the quick circles. I mean, yeah, it does kind of suck, but it happens even when I watch other people, so... At least it's not too bad. I'll take it. Hopefully it stays this way at worst. Man, if it weren't for like copyright things, I think it would be fun to do like a nostalgic movie marathon stream. I don't know why I thought of that. I guess just because we were talking about it so much earlier. Yes, it does. In a way, it kind of helps because then they don't have to watch a two-hour stream of me wandering around Magician's Quest being like, Why isn't a mystery happening yet? Her -der -der -der. <laughs> but now I'm going to be uploading that. Oh, Titan, you don't have enough bits to try the dragon by chance, do you? Just because I wanted to see if um, it still worked or I had to fiddle around with it more. Or I could just take the dragon thing off, I might be taking up 
too much resources. Okay. Well, thank you for all the donations either way. I was just wondering. I gotta grind for a bit soon to have some to give to other streamers. So much garbage. No, it's gonna get full. I think that dump used to hold more. No, it's fine. I was wondering about it earlier, but I should have probably asked first, but I kind of forgot about it after I got confused with Magician's Quest. The fishy fishies. Because she's gonna line my pocket with bells. Come here, you picky fish.
um, if you feel like it, you can look for someone, because I'm probably going to have to end soon. Okay, I'm hoping to just at least get one more pocket full, and then I'm probably gonna end it there. Yeah. It's a shame Twitch can't get that to work, because that was pretty great. Let it auto select it. You think I should have picked one? Oh, excuse me. and it's cute. Okay.
Okay, I think that is it for me. If you guys want more Animal Crossing, hopefully I can find someone to give a host to. Let's see. Oh, they're still doing it? Okay. Pistachio bow? <laughs> okay. Hopefully I typed that right. In any case, thank you guys for joining me and chilling with me for Animal Crossing and talking about all sorts of things and our hype for the next one. I will probably check another Animal Crossing and or Magician's Quest Mysterious Times tomorrow. So maybe I'll see you then.